And welcome back to the Easter Thursday Flow Sports Fix. And so I've decided to get uh, the two gurus, the Flow Man and the Stamp Man, into the studio for this final chat before the Easter break. And guys, um, we know how the AFL is playing on Good Friday. We've seen it for a long time now. It's even in the NRL and other codes. But what about local leagues? At some point, they're going to need the Easter break because Easter's not always at the same time every year. It moves around depending on the calendar and stuff. So there are leagues that are going to need to play that weekend and play games, and they may even have to look at Good Friday. Some do Saturday, which is fine, but what about Good Friday? So I just wanted to get your thoughts. I'll start with you, Jace. What do you think? Not a fan. Um, I personally wouldn't play, but who am I to say that others can't? Um, Personally, uh, I have Easter commitments with family. Um, so many of us do. That, yeah, that's a common me, thing. To me, that's what Easter is all about. It's about family. So, no, I, I wouldn't be involved uh, at local level. Um, that's just my personal preference. Flow man, it gets down to a couple of things. There are some Easter competitions that are already running. Some games. I mean, Stall play Ararat in Wimmera football uh, yeah. as part of the Easter weekend, and many people are aware of the Stall gift and all of that. Then yeah. they commemorate to their Easter celebrations in that area with a game of football too between the two local rival sides. Uh, this is uh, a question that comes up year after year when we change the date of Easter. But you look in South Australia then at the River Murray football. They have actually started their season two weeks before Easter which means they were playing football uh, in the middle of March when the AFL started. I think way too early and uh, how they get their uh, blokes out on the training track ready for that when most of them want to turn up, you know, the first week of April for their first training session to run out a couple of weeks later in the middle of April. So there is, I think, the date movement of Easter creates some programming problems Uh, from a um, position of if, say, the radio station was covering local football and we were asked um, to go out and cover football football on Good Friday, I would be one of the people that would say, look, I reckon it's just not really the right thing for us to do. Mm. Um, Now, if the station had people here that wanted to go and cover it in the sport team, well, then that would be up to them. But from my perspective, I think it's good to have the four days as a break. And even in the media, if you can take some level of break from what you do as a normal week, um, and this is a a very important Christian celebration, it's it's commemorated all around the world. So I think there's got to be some closing of shops there's got to be some uh, let's honor the p- particular position that people have on that particular christian observance and let's leave football in the country to the saturday or to the uh, monday even the public holiday or let's just give people the weekend off and go camping if they like doing it on the river murray or down at to the beach at robe or maybe out at elliston yeah. or sojourner or some of the beautiful local coastal areas heading off to the grampians as we did as a kid many 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 years ago it's what go. you do at easter time and yeah, to me, I, I would rather not see it. I personally would, even in the AFL, I wouldn't. Want, I wouldn't want to see it on any level. I think it's just the time for families and that, and just community. But we're in a world where there are commercial interests and they dictate other things, and you got to pay the electricity bill somehow. So we're that's also a factor. We're also Clayton in a world where um, religion is meaning less and less to to certain people out there, uh, and that's a broad representation. That's a, a fairly generalist statement but uh, and I'm not necessarily sure if that's a good or a bad thing but the role that religion plays in society now is nowhere near as uh, poignant as it was 20 years ago uh, 30 years ago 40 years ago so um, with that being the case Easter means something different to people now now it's now it's about a four-day break Um, and for me um, who's you know, growing up, uh, Christian background, uh, Catholic background, as you know, Irish Catholic background. Um, yes, I remember the wine. Yes, Easter has always had that. <laughs> Easter has always had that special uh, spiritual side of it, but it's also had that that four day family get together yeah. feel to it, and that's really what it is for us today. Is is more about that that four day getting together with the family and spending time with them. So. Um, that's that's simply my choice. I, I'm not saying that I should be able to dictate to anyone else how they spend their Easter, but uh, I certainly wouldn't be involved in sport and probably won't be watching too much of it either. Neither will I, funnily enough. No, I, and that's just how I, I personally feel with it. I, I don't like it, but I understand the commercial realities of things. You, the, the bit you mentioned about uh, the religion not having so much value... 
that was one of the things that came up in discussions with the the guests I'm having tomorrow on the Good mm. Friday, the Good Good Friday program, and you'll be very interested to hear their answers on that. So that's something to listen out for on the program tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not mm. saying it's right, and I'm not even mm. saying that I'm right. I may be way off base. Mm. It's a perception that that I think most people have. Um, I certainly have it, and whether it's right or wrong, I'll be interested to listen out tomorrow to find out if I'm right or wrong. In America, they play sport on Christmas Day, basketball. It's almost like it's the the NBA's day, Mm. and people flock to it. It's a big TV event. It's become a family event over there. Is it possible that maybe a sport could try to own the day to make it their own in a similar way, Flamie? Well, this becomes the question when you talk about North Melbourne saying that they wanted to become uh, the Good Friday club, the one that has their games played on that particular occasion. They have said to the AFL they're prepared to do that. Then you think of them as the Friday night specialist North Melbourne back when uh, Wayne Carey was taking screaming marks and so forth. And you think about this amongst, say, the Christian communities that could take advantage of, say, turning Good Friday and, say, the night of Good Friday when the commemorative service uh, going to church with your family, uh, the observances with your grandkids of Easter eggs and all those sorts of things that you have the fun of that particular occasion. Maybe the uh, um, AFL could go to the churches and say, why don't we put something together where you have a chaplaincy thing where sports chaplains yeah. are honoured and uh, we are able to then have them uh, come and toss the coin and the donations from that day go to the uh, the Good Friday appeal at the Royal Melbourne Children's Hospital or the Adelaide Children's Hospital or whatever. Yeah. I'm just sort of thinking, outside the square don't necessarily throw out the sport um, completely but maybe at the night time there is a place for it providing that the Christian observance for it is integrated into it and there is a humbleness about it and uh, it's uh, not necessarily a money making thing and there's a charitable outcome for it I think there's a place where we can negotiate that but I think at a local club level I think we all need a bit of a break I do as well. My mail is uh, a lot of the church groups were against football being played at all on Good Friday. Uh, and then they found out that the game proposed was North Melbourne versus the Western Bulldogs. And they were quite happy to let it go ahead because no one's watching anyway. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Incidentally, on tomorrow's show, I'm speaking with a, a sports chaplain. And uh, but I'm a bit concerned as to how the interview is going to go because I found out he's a Crow supporter. So <laughs> I'm not, good I, luck with that. Clay. I think it'll fine. be a very short conversation somehow. But no, we'll be talking about sports chaplaincy. But it's a good point that you raised, Flo Man, about mm. that. I think to get them involved because that is something that, from initial discussions we've had about that particular topic, it's something that is very much needed in our community, and we're going to follow it through further because it's, it is a very important topic to discuss. I like it. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, guys. Enjoy your Easter eggs, your hot cross buns and everything else. And uh, we'll see you again after a nice four-day break. Happy Easter, guys.